Hi everyone, welcome back to another Tech Nerd tutorial. Today we are going to be installing a self-signed SSL certificate on our home server so that we can use secured HTTP. So this topic was requested by one of our viewers to increase the security of their home server when accessing it from outside their home network. What this allows is for your data to be encrypted from your home server to any external clients, computers that are outside your home network, thus preventing other external users from being able to see your data and do nefarious things with that information. We want to get started by making sure the software is up to date. So I've just closed the software updater because it had finished updating. And now in terminal, I want to enable SSL. So that'd be sudo a2 and mod SSL. And this will enable the feature in our Apache web server. So we can go ahead and now we need to restart Apache so that it can now load with that new setting. From there, we need to generate our own self-signed certificate. If you do have your own domain, you can choose to purchase one and therefore be able to uh, have one that is not self-signed. We want to first create a directory where these certificates will live. And then from there, we want to create the self-signed certificates. This one is pretty complex, so you can copy it off the screen or you can go to our written tutorial and be able to copy this long string uh, for creating the self-signed certificate. This certificate will be valid for two years. So after that two years, you will have to recreate a new certificate to replace the old one at that time. So from there, once this particular command is done, we will have created our certificates and we'll just need to tell Apache, our web server, to look at those certificates. When the command is run, it is going to ask for information like our country, as well as our province, uh, additional information about your company, if you have it. So here's our location. Uh, we're gonna put Edmonton and then our organizational name. So here I'm gonna put Tech Nerd Services. Uh, these things, if you leave them blank, it's completely fine as well. And then the common name, this is the important one. We want to be able to put what our web address is going to be. So I'm putting our dynamic DNS address, technerdservices.ddns.net. This one is the one we need to for sure put in correctly. And then the email address, this is one that we should also put in correctly as if there's any issues, you will receive that email. So now that this SSL certificate is created, we can now go into Apache and change our settings for Apache to make sure that this can run. Now we want to open the Apache file that has the configuration for SSL. So for us to do that, we'll type out sudo nano, and it's file location, etc. Apache2 sites available. And the one that we're looking for is the SSL one. So that'll be default hyphen SSL.conf. You'll be able to see it on the screen. From there, where we want to go is down a few lines. We are looking for the SSL certificate file, as well as the SSL certificate key file. So when we get to those two locations, it will have some of the default ones that at that location, there may or may not be files. So we can go ahead and add the SSL certificate file, delete the section that has the default file location, and then we can go ahead and place our own file location for the key and certificate we created. So here I've deleted that location and I'm adding ours, so etc. Apache 2 SSL, and we're looking for our Apache.crt, so, so our certificate. Then we also want to change our key file. So once again, I'm going to delete the default one found in this file. And I'm going to add now our key file. So once again, et cetera, Apache to SSL and then Apache.key. From there, we want to save with control O and then we can exit with control X. And then from there, we do need to enable our default SSL configuration. So we'll go ahead and type in sudo a2 n site and default hyphen SSL.conf. 
This will enable the configuration that we just changed. And then from there, we now need to reload Apache with our sudo service Apache2 and restart. And then from there, we are now good to go to be able to uh, launch a web browser and see whether or not our SSL encryption has taken hold. So that's now all reloaded. We now want to go ahead and open up Firefox. And in Firefox, we can now go to our dynamic DNS web address location. So I'm going to just move the window up and then we'll go ahead and type in here our technerdservices.ddns.net. And then from there, we want to also add in the HTTPS. From there, we get to this certificate is untrusted. This is because it is self-signed. Click on I understand the risks and add the exception. This will then save it in Firefox so that we won't get this pop up every single time. We'll confirm the security exception. And then now here we are in our secured HTTP direction to our Ubuntu page. Just as a note is that we did do this in Firefox. If you do use Google Chrome or Microsoft's Internet Explorer, that adding the self-signed certificate as an exception has different instructions. The other thing that we do want to look at is if there are situations where we want to have our server set so that the HTTP, the unsecured HTTP, will redirect automatically to the secured HTTPS. So with that, we can go back into terminal and be able to make changes and add a mod rewrite. So in terminal, we want to go ahead and edit the Apache config. So go sudo nano, etc. Apache2 and apache2.conf, the configuration of our Apache file. Go ahead and enter your password if necessary. And we want to go ahead and scroll all the way to the very bottom. Once we go down there, what we're going to be adding is commands so that if the HTTP address is given, it will automatically redirect to the HTTPS. So first we're going to start with a comment. So we'll start with the number sign and then HTTP to HTTPS redirect. So we know what we're doing. The next are three lines of code that will allow the Apache server to always redirect. So we have rewrite engine set to on. We have our rewrite condition is when our HTTPS is not on. So that's where we have the apostrophe equals instead of just equals. So it's not on. And then what we're going to have is our rewrite rule. So this rewrite rule We'll say take whatever is currently in the HTTP and from there forward it to the HTTPS. This mod rewrite allows you to do a rewrite for any of the directories. So that means that it's not just technerdservices.ddns.net. It could be technerdservices.ddns.net forward slash own cloud forward slash plex. Any of those things will then work as long as it's coming in from the standard port 80 and it's trying to find the standard SSL port of 443. So we have those three lines written into our code. We do control O to save, control X to exit. And now we want to ensure that the mod rewrite is enabled. So we'll go sudo a2n mod rewrite. Here I'm going to see that it's already enabled, so this is good. You might see that it isn't enabled and it has enabled. Then we just want to go ahead and restart Apache with sudo service Apache restart. From there, we're now good to go. We can go back to our web browser. And here you will see me just delete the S for HTTP. You'll see how it already goes to the HTTPS environment. From here, I'm just going to show I am going to also go to own cloud. Once again, not secured. So you'll see in the address bar that it's just HTTP. And then now it is HTTPS. So there you have it. We have now added in a self-signed certificate to our home server. We are able to uh, go ahead and also do a rewrite so that any time a user is trying to access our server and any web applications, it will always end up going to the secured sites. 
Hi everyone, thanks again for watching this video. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And go ahead and leave a comment down below if you have any additional questions or comments. Furthermore, check out some of our related videos or find us in our social media. If you would like email notifications of whenever we release new video or written tutorials, you can go to our webpage technerdservices.com and sign up for our weekly newsletter. We will send to your inbox notifications of those new video and tutorials. Thanks again for watching and until next time, keep teching on.